What's going on in Barcelona this 2024? In this video, we're taking a look at some of the special anniversaries, massive sporting events, and award-winning bars and restaurants that you'll definitely wanna to add to your list of things to do. So whether it's your first time in the city or you've been here before, here's what's going on in Barcelona in 2024. 2024 is the year of Antoni Tapias, where we'll be celebrating the 100th year anniversary of his birth, although he was born in 1923. But last year was the year for Picasso and Miro, so this 2024 is gonna give us a chance to celebrate for a full year one of Barcelona's most famous artists. To help celebrate, the Tapias Foundation will be offering all types of exhibits throughout the year. You'll have until March 3rd to see the exhibit A equals A, B equals B, a reference to one of Tapias's favorite books. And until June 23rd, you can catch Tapias, the Zen imprint. Tapias was very interested in Buddhism and it became a heavy influence in his work. If you're coming later in the year, you can find Antoni Tapias, Retrospective, which will be a collection of Tapias's works from all over the world, covering his first drawings to works from later in his life. Tapias might not be as well known to the normal visitor as Picasso, Miro, or Dali, so 2024 is your year to explore a new artist. And the Tapias Museum is one of the six museums included in the Barcelona Art Ticket, allowing you to explore some of the city's best art museums for an incredible price. And if you want to see a free Tapias, his homage to Picasso is this strange box right behind me outside of the Cita de Park. And while you're here, there's something new to see in the park this year as well. The Cita de Park is moving towards 2030 as the Cinta de Ia del Cano Xamil or the Citadel of Knowledge, aiming to be a place for both science and investigation. And one of the first reformations that they've taken part in is renovating that Ivernacla. The greenhouse, just like much of the park, was built ahead of that 1888 World's Fair that was held right here as one of the biggest events that's taken place in the history of the city. Unfortunately, since 2007, it's been closed, but after popular demand, they've got it opened back up. And 2024 is the first year for you to be able to see it. The park is always a nice place to get over and walk around inside of the city. And while it's only one building of the project that's done so far, you can already see a big change all around. So definitely get over here this 2024 and take advantage of it. Another museum that's celebrating this 2024 is Barcelona's Design Museum. It's gonna be the 10th year anniversary for El Museo del Diseño, which acts as both a lab and a museum in itself. Remember the entrance is just six euros and they do guided tours on Saturday. Every Sunday after 3 p.m. and the first Sunday of the month, it's free to get in. Three big anniversaries are being celebrated this 2024. The Passage de Gracia is celebrating 200 years of existence. Realistically, if you're visiting Barcelona, this is one of the streets that you're going to stroll as it has some of the most famous modernist buildings throughout the entirety of the city. They've been celebrating since 2022 with all sorts of different special acts, but apart from that normal shopping and visits to some of those most famous houses, you'll definitely want to get over here and you might be able to catch some special celebrations. Another anniversary happening this 2024 is over at the Real Club de Tenis. Founded 125 years ago, this club is the home to the Barcelona Open, which this year will be having its 71st edition. It might be your last chance to catch Nadal playing over here in Barcelona, and if we're lucky, we'll get an all-Spanish final against former number one, Carlos Alcaraz. And 2024 is the 125th anniversary of the founding of the football club Barcelona. Now, the official foundation date was November 29th, 1899, so it will be that 2024-25 season that marks the official anniversary year, but a new logo has already been created. They've also got a new jersey based off that first ever kit that will be available for that 2024-25 season. Not many people know it, but that club was actually founded right here in the Raval on that historic day in 1899 by Hans Gamper, who put out an announcement in the paper to recruit players. The rest, as they say, is history. The biggest event of the year and one of the biggest sporting events in the world is coming to Barcelona between August and October. The America's Cup has already been taking the city by storm, so if you're here during those race dates, you've got to make some time to see it. This is the oldest sporting competition in the world and it brings an incredible amount of money into the city. It might not get up to those Olympic levels like it did in 1992, but it promises to be big. If you want to take part in the action, the port and the beachfront are going to be the places to be. The beach is going to have free space where you can watch the competition as well as some big screen TV. And the port is being turned into the America's Cup Race Village, filled with all of those big screen TVs and a fan zone. 
The teams competing will also have their hubs set up all around the area, so make sure you get over to Mola La Fusta and La Rambla de Mar. The teams competing in this edition of the America's Cup will feature five challengers vying for the right to take on the current defenders and holders of the cup, Emirates Team New Zealand. The challengers are Ainos Britannia, Ilingi Red Bull Racing, Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli, New York Yacht Club American Magic, and Orient Express Racing Team. The preliminary races take place from the end of August until October, with the finals taking place from August 12th to the 20th. There's also a women's and juniors championship in between. Barcelona makes for an amazing gastronomical trip, and each year it offers some of the best bars and restaurants in the world. Now, those awards usually come out at the end of the year, so the 2023 best bars and restaurants are what we have for 2024, and this year Barcelona's got some of the best. What we have in the city are 32 different restaurants with a Michelin star. But not only that, this futar was named the number two restaurant in the world and just achieved its third Michelin star as well. That's going to give the city four restaurants with three Michelin stars. But the city also has the best bar in the world. Sips, which was number three last year, took over that number one spot from none other than Paradiso. Last year's number one bar is still in Barcelona, this year coming in at number four. If you've been to Barcelona during any festival, you've probably seen those giants on parade. In 2024, we'll be celebrating the 600th year anniversary of the first ever documentation of Als Gigantes. That means it's a tradition that's at least 600 years old. Throughout the year, there will be celebrations and special acts, apart from their normal participation in the city's various festivals. One of the big days to look out for is April 28th, when the biggest celebration of giants ever will be taking place in front of the Arc de Triomphe. But if you can't be there for the Trovada Nacional de Gigantes, make sure to catch a festival in Barcelona. But remember, these are just some ideas that you can take advantage of throughout the year. If you're looking for things to do in the specific month that you'll be visiting Barcelona, make sure to watch my monthly Barcelona guides so you won't miss a thing.